This is Tony from Tony Ten Speed with some tips on riding in cold weather. Yes, you can ride down in the 30s or below if you have some simple equipment. First of all, a base layer. Always layer your clothes. You can go out and buy an expensive, nicely lined Pearl Izumi shirt that's lined and get you down to that temperature. Or for inexpensive costs, I use my ski thermals, top, my bottoms over the shorts, and then layer on top of that my tights, various vests depending on the weather, lighter ones for warmer temperatures and heavier ones for lower temperatures, and then jackets of various thickness. keep your toes warm, consider a wool blend sock. They come in various thicknesses. This one is fairly thin, but very warm wool blend from EMS. This one, Wigman, is a bit thicker, but happens to fit in my winter shoes. Got to be careful that they're not too thick, that they'll compress your toes. That will make your toe is actually colder. Consider using toe warmers that stick on the inner portion underneath your toes and you can use that either just with your regular shoes, use them with shoe booties, or you can spring for a more expensive lined boot from CD. You buy this in the size that you would buy your normal shoe, but they tend to be extremely warm, especially if I wear them with a wool blend sock and toe warmers. I can get down into the 20s without getting my toes cold. For your hands, consider using grabber hand warmers. These are some of the best, I think. They last seven and a half hours. If you really want to warm up your hands, they're still not getting warm, consider something called foot warm-up. Although these are made for shoes for hunters, they're great for hand warmers. In fact, they get so warm I have some dress socks I've cut off the end. I place them in the dress sock, then in the palm of my hand, and then into my glove. This will keep my hands nice and warm down in the low 30s and even the high 20s. Remember with all these warmers, you need to take them out about 15 minutes early. Let them be exposed to air because it takes about that much time before they'll warm up. And finally for your head, a good balaclava. You can get them of various thicknesses. And for the very cold, from performance I was able to get a line windproof balaclava that'll take me down easily into the 30s and 20s and keep me nice and warm. So have a great cycling time. Keep warm. Be safe.